In an ancient Greek myth, Zeus and his brother Poseidon were both enamored with Thetis, the goddess of water. Remarkable for her divine shape-shifting abilities, the brothers both courted her until a prophecy alarmed Zeus. It was prophesied that the son of Thetis would inherit still greater shape-shifting abilities. Zeus feared that this powerful future son of Thetis could overthrow him as king of the gods. In a preemptive defense of his throne, Zeus arranged to have Thetis married to a mortal husband. This arrangement would ensure a mortal offspring of Thetis, as only the union of a god and a goddess could beget another divine with capacities like shapeshifting. Peleus was chosen as Thetis' arranged husband, but she was not pleased with the arrangement and quickly took flight. Peleus was then advised to seek out Thetis while she was sleeping and to tie himself tightly to her. After waking, Thetis, in a fit of the trapped, unwilling bride, hastened to change forms at will. First she shapeshifted into a flame, the divine light individuated in all aspects of creation, the reflection here below of the Creator above. Peleus held tight. Next Thetis appeared as water, the primordial creative aspect of the physical realm, but Peleus continued to hold on. Then Thetis transformed into a lioness, symbolizing the power of the sun, the source of all life. Peleus still clung tightly. Thetis next morphed into a snake. Slithering in and out of caves, the snake was the metaphoric master of both the physical world and the hidden spiritual realm. Sloughing off its skin, it was symbolically associated with the transformational energy of the goddess. One of the snakes nipped at his third eye of intuition, yielding inner vision to higher truths. Another snake took aim at the ear, ensuring Peleus might hear the music of the spheres, the great vibration of the universe that holds all intelligence. The third snake struck at his heel, the bite that brings death to the delusional dependence upon the material world and opens the door to transcending the ego. After Thetis performed these wrestling maneuvers, she humbly surrendered to Peleus, magnanimously accepting him as the victor, thus completing the spiritual crash course to her newly betrothed while simultaneously fulfilling the goddess role of Transformer.